This is Optimal Living Daily Relationships, Episode 99, Are My Kids Keeping Me From Finding Love? by Evan Mark Katz of evanmarkkatz.com. And I'm Joss Marie, the girl who brings you all things relationships. Here on the Relationships Edition of Optimal Living Daily, I narrate to you for free every Monday through Friday from some of the best relationship blogs on the planet. I cover dating, breakups, parenting, marriage, you name it, as long as it's in the realm of relationships. Today, I have a post from Evan Mark Katz about some common challenges single parents may face while searching for love. Also, a big thanks to Opinion Outpost for sponsoring today's episode. Market research is a big business and companies need input from people like you. Share your opinion and get rewarded with gift cards, cash, and more. Sign up for free at opinionoutpost.com slash daily. That's opinionoutpost.com slash D-A-I-L-Y. And without further ado, let's hear today's post by Evan Mark Katz and start optimizing your life. Are My Kids Keeping Me From Finding Love? by Evan Mark Katz of evanmarkkatz.com Quote, Evan, I fall into the majority of divorced women with a degree who are looking online but with children. Dating with children changes the rules of the game entirely for both men and women. As a single person without children, you are open to possibilities, open to long-distance relationships even, but when the kids are around, then we have to change our mindset to realizing that we are Teflon until the kids are out of the house. That the Brady Bunch was just a fantasy TV sitcom and that living a life of dating without the kids makes us live two lives, one with kids and one without. Soon enough, you're going to resent one of them, if not both. And the idea of bringing your children along for dates is not really something acceptable. So you can talk about what your dating life as a single man was like, You wanted a woman who you could have children with, so you probably didn't date women with children, and if you did, you soon found out that they needed to be thrown back. That's how I feel, that every man I meet will never really date me for a serious relationship because I have children, and especially if he has his too. Then it's like he can understand, but he also doesn't want to pick up someone else's slack. Perhaps you can recommend a different resource, or you can explain how your comments apply when it comes to dating with children. Try it with your wife. Pretend the kids were not yours and you were dating her. How would that change everything? Joy. End quote. Joy. Thanks for your email, as it reveals both some truths and blind spots. Truth. It's a lot easier to date if you don't have kids. People without children don't have much of a concept of what it's like to be tethered to home for feeding, napping, school, and extracurricular activities. Your life isn't entirely your own. The thing is, this isn't news to anybody. This just reveals your blind spot. You keep on choosing men without kids, and because you keep choosing men without kids, you've come to the conclusion that the Brady Bunch life is a fantasy. Hate to tell you, sweetie. But the reason that the Brady Bunch is not a fantasy is because both Mike and Carol had kids. To be fair, you almost figured this out by the end of your email. Quote, If he has kids too, then it's like he can understand, but he doesn't want to pick up someone else's slack. End quote. Pick up someone else's slack? He has his kids to raise. You have your kids to raise. He doesn't have to pick up your slack. He has to understand that as a parent, you need a little slack because you don't control your own schedule. The tone of your email suggests that because I am a single guy who found love with a childless woman, that my advice is invalid to you. That's not remotely true. Everyone likes to think her situation is particularly unique. It's not. Advice for women over 50 is almost identical to advice for women under 50. Advice for women who want kids is almost identical to advice for women who don't. If you are confident, self-aware, have a high emotional IQ, a low tolerance for being mistreated, and understand the opposite sex, you're going to do well in relationships. That has nothing to do with kids or age or anything. If you understand 40-year-old men, 
you pretty much understand 60-year-old men. Men don't change, but circumstances do. Which brings me to something that I've been sitting on for a few months and wanted to share here with you. It's an update from my friend, Lori Gottlieb, author of Marry Him, my favorite relationship book. Writes Lori, quote, I've been dating someone for about six months. I guess I should change my Facebook status to in a relationship at some point so I can stop being considered a toxic maximizer every time some guy asks me out. You should write a column about how once people hit their mid-40s, tons of guys become available because that's when the married with kids guys who got married in their 20s are divorcing. So suddenly, you can date your peers again. In my late 30s, I didn't want divorced with kids, but once I had a kid and reached my mid-40s, divorced with kids was exactly what I wanted. So he's 47 with 14-year-old twin girls. And then, of course, in the past year, all of these opportunities came about due to the demographic shift of an influx of 40-something men with kids getting divorced and not wanting to date women in their 30s who don't have but want kids. They don't want to go back to diapers at that age. And then there's the financial investment of starting a second family. For all those reasons, not to mention, of course, my charm, I'm what these divorced with kids, 40-something guys, seem to be looking for. Fodder for your blog, perhaps? End quote. Yes, Lori, it is fodder for my blog. And it's also my answer to your question, Joy. Choose men with kids who get what you're going through, and you'll be that much closer to developing a Brady Bunch family of your own. You just listened to the post titled, Are My Kids Keeping Me From Finding Love? by Evan Mark Katz of evanmarkkatz.com. Thank you to Evan Mark Katz for letting us share this and so many other insightful posts. It's always a pleasure. And thanks again to Opinion Outpost for sponsoring today's episode. Market research is a $50 billion a year industry. Companies need input from people like you before they launch new products and services. That's where Opinion Outpost comes in. Opinion Outpost is run by SSI, one of the most trusted names in consumer research. Opinion Outpost connects companies with people like you through online surveys that give you the chance to tell companies how you think and feel about virtually everything, from new products and advertising to social issues and more. And since they know your time is valuable, Opinion Outpost rewards you for taking surveys. You can earn cash, iTunes and Amazon gift cards, and more. Surveys are accessible 24-7, so you can participate whenever you'd like. Your personal information remains private and secure, and it's free to sign up. No credit card required. And you can earn actual money just by sharing your opinion. Sign up today at OpinionOutpost.com daily to make your voice heard and start earning rewards. That's OpinionOutpost.com daily. And we thank them for sponsoring the podcast. And that does it for today's episode. Have a fabulous rest of your day. And I hope to see you again tomorrow for our 100th episode here on the Relationships Edition of Optimal Living Daily with a post from Ellie Lazitza all about the joys and challenges of having a baby where your optimal life awaits. Hello, Life Optimizer. This is Justin Mollick, creator and producer of this podcast, but also Optimal Living Daily the show where I read to you from even more blogs covering finance, productivity, minimalism, personal development, and more from incredible bloggers like Derek Sivers, Zen Habits, Mark and Angel, The Minimalists, and all the ones you hear on this show too. So if you enjoyed today's episode and like taking amazing blogs on the go, come on over to Optimal Living Daily and subscribe to that one too. And together, we'll start optimizing your life. You've been listening to Optimal Living Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us. And remember, your optimal life awaits.